Hey everybody, Richard here with the wirelesshaven.com. Today, we're going to talk about wireless internet connectivity and where you can get started with getting connected online anywhere you need to be. This is going to be the first video in a series we're going to call our wireless internet where to start series. This particular video is going to be going over signal. We believe that signal is the most important part in figuring out where to get started with your cellular internet connectivity, 5G, 4G, whatever. We need to know what kind of signal we have. So no matter if you're in an RV, a cabin, a camper, a home, rural location, wherever you are where you need remote internet connectivity and you don't have any other options and cellular seems to be the choice for you, the first place we always choose to start is going to be with signal. We talked to so many people about cellular internet connectivity or wireless connectivity solutions, and we've gathered the best place to start is always going to be signal. A lot of people, they want to go with speed. How fast can I get? They want to know what equipment, what do I need to get 5G? Do I need to get an antenna? The problem with going straight to how fast can I get and what equipment do I need is there's no way to really know unless you know about your signal at your location. We're mostly going to talk about static locations, so a rural home, a cabin in the woods, on the mountain, on the lake, uh, a house in a neighborhood, a business, a location, somewhere static that's not going to move. Uh, this Most of this applies as well to uh, campsites, places where RVs would normally be, any kind of parks, stuff like that. But in general, we're not talking about when you're taking your connectivity and moving, going down the road, like over the road truckers and so forth. So this, this was important for those types of connections as well, um, but it's a little bit more difficult when you're constantly changing your location. Uh, but the individual ideals behind signal is, are still important, even for those uh, scenarios. So we still believe it's the best place to start as far as understanding wireless connectivity for the internet. One of the biggest reasons why we always focus on signal first is because if you don't know anything about your signal, there's kind of no point to knowing what equipment to get. You could get this amazing 5G equipment and completely waste your money because you're not even getting good signal. Or you get great signal, but it's not a very good uh, speed because your particular cell towers aren't set up to be something amazing with amazing speeds. So you'll definitely be future-proofing, but maybe you didn't need to spend as much money on equipment because your particular location can't serve that type of equipment. So one of the first things you're definitely going to want to know is, do you have cell signal at your house or cabin or wherever you are? Do you get cell signal? That's the number one thing you need to know. Do you get cell signal sitting inside the location and outside the location? Can you pick up AT&T, for example? Do you have an AT&T phone or someone you know has an AT&T phone or Verizon or T-Mobile or US Cellular or whoever it is that serves your area? Find, find someone that has one of those devices on any one of those networks, bring them all over, go inside the location, inside the house, middle of the house, whatever, do you get signal? If you can get signal on one of those devices inside of, of a home, that's great information to know. If you don't get signal inside, but you can kind of pick it up out in the yard or on the property somewhere, that's also good information to know. Maybe you can pick up a signal pretty well inside the house with T-Mobile, but you can't pick up hardly any signal with AT&T. But when you go out in the yard, you can pick up some signal with AT&T. Write all this stuff down. This is very important information to know well before we get into what kind of modem should I get. Do I need to get a 5G hotspot? That's not, in, that's not where you want to be. First thing you want to know, do I get signal inside my location, outside the location? Once you figure that out, yes, I can get AT&T. Yes, I can get Verizon. No, I can't get T-Mobile to work here. This You've narrowed down a lot of information that's very important for where do I need to go next. The next thing you need to know though with that is where is this signal coming from? Now I get AT&T and T-Mobile for example, those two carriers, but I don't get Verizon. Verizon may not still be out, but when you're just getting started, the best place to start is the easiest place. So you're getting AT&T, you're getting T-Mobile, you can even pick it up inside the house fairly well. Where is that coming from? Your cell towers or where it's coming from. And that could be on an actual tower, that could be on the top of a building nearby, anything like that. You need to find out where those are. 
There's a couple of different ways you can do that. We at the Wireless Haven, we offer a service to help you find your cell towers. We call it our cell cellular site survey or cell tower survey. It's on our website under our services. I'll put a link in the description. And we help find those, those towers for you. We make up a full report with the PDFs, including the GPS locations, uh, Google Earth, uh, or Google Maps picture of the, the cell tower and where it's at, so you can know exactly where those cell towers are. So if you want, you know I've got AT&T coming in hot, I've got T-Mobile is a pretty good signal, where are those cell towers? If you wanna find out, we'll find them for you. You tell us you wanna know where the closest three towers are and you wanna know two of them are AT&T and one of them's T-Mobile, we'll do that for you, we have that service. If not, you can definitely figure that out as well on your own. There's public resources out there some some of them are supported by the community so the information is there given almost like a wiki in a way it's open source cellmapper.net is one you can do antennasearch.com i believe is another one and there's a few other resources you can just hit in the search engine and find and find those for yourself as well if you'd like to do that yourself but you definitely need to know where those cell towers are and that's going to be important for whether or not you want to improve your cell signal if you're sitting inside your home and you've got a cell phone tablet, hotspots of any kind, and you're getting three, four, five bars, it doesn't really matter where that signal is coming from. Not, not really. If you can get really good signal on a handheld device, then you can probably pick up a cellular router like this one and set it almost anywhere you want inside your home and you'll get good signal and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything else. But if you're sitting inside your home, you're trying to get your LTE tablet to get connected to watch YouTube videos and you're barely picking up a bar and it's buffering all the time, that's the important information to know that your AT&T tablet or T-Mobile tablet or both aren't doing very well for a signal. Definitely something good to know because you might not be able to just pick one of these up or just as a general hotspot and get good enough signal to serve your needs at your location. You might have to take off some of these antennas and hook up a high power outdoor antenna. But you'd never know that jumping straight in asking, what kind of router do I need to buy? How, what kind of antennas do I need to buy? You wouldn't know if you didn't check your signal first. So it's very, very important that you check to find out, can I get signal inside or outside my home? How good is that signal? And all you need is a cell phone to f figure that out. How many bars are you getting? There's other metrics on here like RSRP, RSRQ, SINR, RSSI. These are a lot more technical inf bits of information that if you want to research what those are, we have some resources on our website at thewirelesshaven.com. You can definitely do that. But for now, just figuring out what you've got going on and where you need to start, figure out that signal. Do I have the signal with the carrier? How good a signal do I have? And then move on to where is it coming from? Because if you only get one or two bars, and you need to add an antenna to whatever device you choose, you're gonna to need to know where to point that antenna. And that's why it's important to go into that next step to find out where those cell towers are. So do you get signal? Where is it coming from? And who is serving it to you? All very important to know because you don't wanna find out that there's a cell tower over here and there's a cell tower over here and not know that this one's AT&T and this one's Verizon and you're sitting here with T-Mobile and you're getting two bars of signal and you're saying, I got two cell towers right here. What, why, why am I still not getting good signal? I, I picked up an awesome cellular router from the wireless haven and I put antennas on it and I'm pointing it at these cell towers I'm seeing and it's not doing anything for me. Well, maybe it's because they're not actually serving your T-Mobile service to you. The one that you want for T-Mobile is actually back this way from your location and it's at the very top of a ridge or behind a whole bunch of trees and you've got the wrong kind of antenna for it. Find your signal, find where it's coming from, who's serving it to you, how good is it indoors and outdoors. There's definitely other things that you can do. You can go further finding out whether or not they're 4G signals or 5G new radio signals, or if you're lucky enough to be in a more populated area, millimeter wave for the real high speed stuff. That none of that matters if you don't know what your signal is. So start there with your signal, figure it out with a phone or tablet or hotspot, and see what kind of signals you get. Bring over some friends and get them to bring their Verizon, US Cellular, T-Mobile or AT&T phones, something that you may or may not have and see what kind of signal you get. 
You start there and I guarantee you, you will be in a much better place for figuring out this whole world of wireless internet connectivity than 90% of the people out there that jump straight in and just go straight to a store and buy random devices somebody is trying to sell you. You will definitely be in a better place. If you take all the information that we've given in this video for just a simple thing of cellular signal, you'll definitely be a step ahead in your wireless internet connectivity journey. You can send this information to us, say, hey, I figured out my signal information stuff, what are my next steps? And we'll absolutely help you out. You'll be a step ahead. You'll know a lot more about where you need to be and we'll definitely get you even closer to getting completely and totally connected. But make sure you stay tuned for our next video in this series where we're gonna go over cellular router equipment and what we may want to use or may not want to use based on what kind of signal you have. And don't forget at thewirelesshaven.com, we offer the cellular site survey to find your cell towers for you. If you don't have time or you really don't wanna figure it out on your own, you don't wanna use the resources on Google or wherever you can find it, we can definitely help you out with our cell tower surveys. This has been Richard with thewirelesshaven.com. Take care.